Hey peeps, it's Jed here from Disrupt Tutoring and as always, it's such a pleasure to join you. Today we're going to deal with an arithmetic sequence and with that in mind, let's dive straight in. So we've got the following pattern. X plus 5, then 37 minus X, and then X plus 13. Alright, so they've asked us to determine the value of X. Now, when it comes to a sequence like this, it's always important to start looking at the difference between the, the different terms. I know it's a little weird because we've got these variables in here, but let's proceed as normal and see how it can help us. So we've got 37 minus X minus, now remember we need to minus this whole term, so we need to do a bit of distributive law to change the signs. And then on this side, we've got the same thing. So it's X plus 13 minus 37 plus X. All right, so the very important bit of information they've given us is that this is an arithmetic sequence, which means this first difference should equal this first difference. So we can equate them. And that is the step that we need to know in order to solve for X. Now it's fairly simple to solve for X. We've got minus two X on the side. And then we've got 37 minus four uh, minus five gives us 32. Then on the other side, we've got two X plus 13. And that is going to give us while I do it with you minus so minus 24. All right, so now let's move all of our x's to one side. That's going to give us 4x on the right hand side. Let's move over our negative 24. That's going to give us 56. Now we're going to divide both sides by 4. And when we do that, that's going to give us x is equal to 14. All right, so that will get you the full marks for the first question. I'm going to write it up here just so I've got access to it for the second question. And then I'm going to erase that first question. Feel free to rewind, pause, fast forward through this part. It's just nice to have it all in one video. Okay, so determine the general term of the sequence. So the first thing we should do is we should try and generate our sequence by subsing in this x back in. So that's going to give us 19. Then 37 minus 14 gives me 23. And then x plus 13 gives us 27. All right, so the x in this case is the 14 that we sub back in. Right, now let's generate our general term. And we're going to use our formula, which is a plus n minus 1 times our difference. Right, so a in this case is our first term, which is 19, plus n minus 1 sticks in there. And then d, what is our difference here? So it's 23 minus 19, which is going to give us a difference of 4. All right, we're going to multiply that out using our distributive law. So that's going to be 4n minus 4. And when we simplify that, we're going to get 4n, then the 19 minus 4 gives us 15. And that gives us the full marks for this particular question. Really, really good job. A very special thank you to our sponsor for making this video possible. Be sure to read all about them in the description below. Also, head over to our website for more of these epic tutorial videos. If you can't find the answer to your question, send us the question, and we'll respond with a personalized video just for you. Until the next time, stay epic.